Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020, and today's Spirit Day is Major League Baseball or National Hockey League Day. Uh, since I wore my Detroit Tigers hat uh, a couple weeks ago for hat day, I thought I'd done the uh, CBJ jersey today, a little Scott sweater going on today uh, in support of the uh, Blue Jackets. Love the Jackets. Enjoy watching hockey. It's one of the sports I didn't get to play as a kid. Uh, tried to play it as an adult. Apparently, you have to be able to skate well. Um, so it's a really hard sport. But uh, enjoy the fact that uh, the Jackets are uh, are the, uh, the hometown team and uh, get to go cheer them on. Hopefully, the uh, the season will, uh, will, will commence once again uh, as they are in eighth place. Uh, holding on to that eighth playoff uh, place as they did last year. So hopefully they can get back on the ice so that we can all enjoy some playoff hockey. All right. Uh, first, I want to thank all the teachers who came out last night to uh, line the drive and, and show support for our students. Uh, first and foremost, it was uh, it was really nice just to see people. Um, I told my wife and I told my uh, my daughter this morning how, uh, how nice it was just to be around people. Uh, I don't think I've been around – uh, that many individuals in, in, in a month or so. So uh, it was incredible to see students and their families. Uh, and it was very special just to be, be able to uh, witness uh, uh, smiling faces. Uh, you know, that's the, the reason we're in education, to see those students and see them you know, be happy. So certainly uh, seeing those smiling faces meant a lot. Our job is to help students find their voice uh, find their passion and, and to help lead them down the right path to success. Uh, another part of our job, though, is to make memories that last a lifetime. And I think last night was a, a positive memory because of the people who set this up and, and the staff who showed up and, and showed support. So uh, thank you to everybody who did. Uh, next, what we know, uh, Governor DeWine told us uh, yesterday that we would not be returning to the building for the remainder of the school year. Uh, school, however, does not stop. Uh, as the governor stated, we, we will continue with e-learning for the rest of the school year, uh, which for us is May 21st. Uh, teaching and learning still needs to take place, and the expectations uh, for us as educators and for our students will remain the same. Uh, there's a lot of students right now who are very disappointed about not coming back into the building uh, and not having those last moments of the school year play out for them. Uh, so continue the great lessons that you had planned. Give students a reason to, to want to learn. Set up those experiments. Have fun activities uh, with the important work that you're assigning. Uh, but most importantly, don't give up. The students need you right now. Uh, so continue doing all those great things that, that you had planned already to do. Just find different ways to be able to do it. Uh, we are talking to Justin's about passing out caps and gowns to seniors this Friday. Uh, details are still emerging, but we're planning a drive-through service between 11 and 1 p.m. Uh, if, if teachers want to come line the sidewalks while, while keeping social distancing uh, to show support uh, for the seniors, uh, I think it will mean a lot to them. You know, again, going back to last night, seeing their faces, uh, seeing them wave to all their teachers and saying hello and, and being, being part of this uh, School community again meant a lot to them, so I think that would that would uh, that would go a long way. Uh, so can you know think about if you're available on Friday from 11 to 1. Um, you know more more details will certainly come out, but uh, but we're hoping to do that. Uh, we're also looking at what graduation will be. Uh, we're looking to see if we can have prom. We're looking to see if we can still have senior assembly. Um, you know much of that uh, has not been determined because we don't know when large groups can can once again gather. We still want to hold these events. So, uh, again, we're talking about creating great memories uh, for our students. So we want to do those things. So those are those are things we're still talking about, still looking at, still trying to figure out if it's possible. Uh, finally, continue to be great teachers today. Uh, I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm very, very proud of what the staff is doing during this COVID-19 shutdown uh, to meet the needs of our students. So continue being great people, continue being great educators. Uh, and realize that uh, there are a lot of people out there, me included, that, that, that uh, are, are really happy about the job that you guys are doing. So have a great uh, Tuesday. We will talk to you tomorrow.